Spore, developed by Maxis and published by Electronic Arts, was one of the most anticipated video games of the early 2000s. Created by a legendary designer, Will Wright, Spore promised a groundbreaking experience with its ambitious goals of allowing players to guide the evolution of a species from a single organism to the advanced civilization spanning the galaxies. At least, that's what they intended. Spore has seemed to now since died out without many players playing. One of the primary factors in Spore's decline was the immense hype and expectations that surrounded its release. Announced in 2005, the game was touted as a revolutionary experience that would redefine the simulation genre. The ambitious promises made by Will Wright and the marketing team set the bar extremely high. Players were led to believe that they would have complete freedom to shape the universe, a concept that generated considerable excitement. However, when the game was released in 2008, many players felt that it had not lived up to grandeur of its promises. Discrepancies between anticipated and actual experience created disappointment among fans. At its core, Spore aimed to blend several distinct gameplay genres, including real-time strategy, role-playing, and simulation. While this ambitious approach was intriguing, it also led to several gameplay limitations. The game's early stages, where players control a single-cell organism, were often praised for their creativity, but were relatively simple and repetitive. As players progressed through the stages, the gameplay complexity increased, but many found the transition between stages to be jarring and disjointed. One notable limitation was the lack of depth in each individual stage. For instance, the creature stage, where players designed the evolution of their species, was criticized for its limited gameplay depth and repetitive mechanics. Similarly, the tribal and civilization stages, which focused on broader strategic elements, were seen as simply simplified compared to other dedicated strategy games. The game's attempt to balance multi-genres resulted in a lack of depth and coherence in each gameplay aspect, leaving many players feeling that Spore was more of a collection of minigames rather than a unified, engaging experience. Another significant factor contributing to decline of Spore was its technical issues and controversial use of digital rights management. Upon release, the game faced numerous technical problems, including performance issues and bugs. These issues were frustrating for players who had eagerly awaited the game's release and undermined the overall experience. Moreover, Spore was criticized for its aggressive DRM policies which limited the number of times the game could be installed and uninstalled. This approach was intended to combat privacy but ended up alienating legitimate customers who felt that their ability to use the game was unfairly restricted. The DRM controversy contributed to a negative percentage of Spore and further tarnished its reputation. By the time Spore was released, the gaming landscape had evolved significantly. The rise of online multiplayer games and the increased popularity of more immersive and narrative-driven experiences shifted players' expectations. Games like World of Warcraft and Elder Scrolls Oblivion set new standards for depth and engagement, and players began to expect more complex and rewarding experiences from their games. In this context, Spore's relatively shallow gameplay and lack of long-term engagement options were seen as inadequate. The game's failure to offer a compelling and evolving experience in the face of these changing expectations contributed to its decline as players moved on to another more immersive titles. Spore was left behind. In conclusion, the decline of Spore can be attributed to a combination of factors including overhyped expectations, gameplay limitations, technical issues, DRM controversies, and the evolving gaming landscape. While the game was in innovative in its ambition and had moments of creative brilliance, it ultimately fell short of its potential. 
The gap between the promises made and the reality of the gameplay experience left many players dissatisfied. The technical and DRM issues further contributed to its downfall. As the game industry continues to evolve, Spore serves as a case study in the challenges of meeting high expectations and delivering a cohesive, engaging experience in an ever-changing environment. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button and like button. And a video should be popping up in the middle of your screen right now. So if you don't mind hitting that, that would be greatly appreciated. Peace.